this tutorial, let's see how we can achieve this effect of an object punching through a metal plate using the RBD Lab Metal Soft Simulation. So here's a cube with the dimensions of a metal plate, and these are the dimensions. And there needs to be a minimum thickness in the y direction uh, for this particular procedure to work. So let's get to the RBD Lab add-on, and let's add a Boolean scatter to make a few cuts to this metal plate. Let's add a geometry nodes boolean while the plate is selected. Let's click OK. And here, first let's get to the grid distribution. And here are a few planes for the cuts. And let's rearrange these planes in a bit. So first let's reduce the random rotation to 0 in the x and 0 in the z. And also, at this point, let's change this to points view. So we would like all of these planes to pass through the central point. So let's remove all the remaining ones. So the way we can do that is by increasing the Z spacing and increasing the X spacing. So we only have the central points. And we can also increase the number of points by decreasing the Y spacing. And there we go. Cool. Now let's get to the plane view, and here's one of the planes for the cuts. Now let's reduce the noise to zero, so we have straight cuts. And in order to increase the number of planes passing through this point, let's decrease the Y spacing to something like 0 0.002. There we go. Now we can rotate these planes to get the desired cuts for the metal plate. Now let's increase this to something like 504 degrees and click continue. And those are the cuts. And we don't need to compute the neighbors as we're gonna use islands for the constraints and not adjacents. And click apply. And there we go. Those are the cuts. Looks good. Now, before we proceed further, let's just ensure that we do a merge vertices to ensure that there are no duplicate vertices. So let's select all. Let's press M, merge by distance. In this case, there are no problematic vertices, so none of them were removed. But this is just a, a safety measure for the constraints to work properly. Now, while all of these uh, plates are selected, let's add a standard scatter. Add standard scatter. Now let's change the distribution from random to grid. There we go. So now let's increase the resolution for these two plates to something like 14. And then let's reduce the resolution of these plates to something like 8 so that all of these plates have even sort of distribution. Now let's select all of these plates and then click accept. And then let's reduce the noise to 0 0.01. And let's have a single output named something like plates underscore TC. And then click on fracture. There we go. We have this beautiful fracture. Apply fracture. Perfect. So now the fracturing process is complete. Now let's move to the physics module. Now let's add a ground and toggle the visibility. And let's head to the RBD tab and click on Metal Soft and add rigid bodies. And let's head to the constraints module and let's add constraints per islands create constraint group. Now here, under limit linear distance, let's toggle the x, y, z, and change the distance to 0 0.01. And under spring angle, let's increase this to 500. And under spring linear, let's increase this to 1500. And usually we use iterations for any metal fractures. Um, but in this case, we're going to use the activators with the on-off 
uh, option so we don't need to use the iterations here let's click on update and let's take a look at the constraints so these are the constraints per islands looks good now let's get to the activators and under dynamic layer type with the source as the target collection which is the plates underscore tc let's select all of these chunks and add a dynamic layer there we go now before proceeding further let's decrease the thickness of these plates to make it like a very thin metal plate so for that let's just get to the rpd lab originals and let's bring back the original plates and while all of the plates and the chunks are selected let's reduce the thickness in the y direction by scaling it to 0.5 and let's apply scale now let's hide all of the plates there you go so now we have a very thin metal plate now let's add under scene collection let's add a uv sphere and let's scale it down to something like 0 0.15 and let's bring it up over here and let's shade auto smooth and let's move in the y by six meters and here let's add a location keyframe now at frame seven let's bring it to the center of the plates and let's add a location keyframe just before the final frame at frame six let's add quick rigid bodies set kinematic so that at this particular frame it converts from being a kinematic body to a rigid body and let's change the mass to 25 cages now let's take a look there you go so that's the rigid body interaction that we were looking for now let's get to the activators and let's apply scale on this sphere now while the sphere is selected let's add activator let's add a sphere activator and under activator step let's reduce the activator scale to something like 0.15 so that way it roughly matches the size of the sphere and under dynamics let's use um, margin of 0 0.3 and let's use on off for the actions when activated and frames between actions let's increase this to four and let's use single activation because each chunk is activated only once now let's hit record and let's play the animation there we go looks good but we need to increase the substeps under physics module for more accurate simulation so let's increase this to something like 12. there you go looks much better we can increase this furthermore looks good so that's more like uh, a sphere passing through a metal plate cool all right now, now let's get to the metal soft module and let's create mesh deform so that's going to bind the original plates to these chunks There we go. Yeah, so here, in order for this to work properly, we need to remesh. And the reason for that is now, when we look at these plates, go to the edit mode, there's no internal mesh for this plate to deform properly. So let's add that mesh by using remesh modifier. So let's select all of these uh, plates and let's head to the remesh and add remesh and let's choose the sharp remesh and let's update modifiers so that the modifiers are applied to the rest of the plates as well and then apply modifier 
there we go so now let's go to the edit mode and there we go now we have nice geometry to these plates cool now let's get back to the metal creation tab and since the geometry has been changed while all of these plates are selected let's hit rebind and let's run the simulation there we go much better now the plates are deforming as they should cool now let's add a subsurf modifier and let's increase the levels to two and let's add a simple subsurf modifier and update modifiers cool and let's also add a smooth modifier to smooth the plates add modifier smooth modifier okay and let's increase the repeat to something like 15 and update modifiers there we go so it looks good uh, let's actually decrease the repeat to something like 10 update modifiers uh, much better now looks good but as we can see the smooth modifier is being applied to the entire geometry of the plates so we need to ensure that the smooth modifier is only applied right where the sphere hits the metal plates and not at the edges so the way we can do that is by going to the activators module and then under creation we can actually create a vertex group layer so let's select these plates and add vertex groups layer there you go now here once this is added let's see what this does let's select a particular plate and if we go to the vertex groups there is this vertex group that has been added as soon as we created the layer now let's go back to the middle soft module and under smooth layer let's select that particular vertex group and update modifiers now under activators module in this vertex groups layer we need an activator for this to work properly so let's select let's actually hide this activator let's select the sphere and under vertex groups layers let's add this sphere activator there we go now let's um, change the scale to something like 0.15 looks good now what happens is during the simulation the vertex group here is affected by this activator now let's see how that works let's select any of these plate and let's get to the weight paint mode and let's play the simulation and there we go so as the activator passes through the metal plates the smooth modifier is applied based on the scale of influence so let's say we would like to decrease the influence what we can do is we can reduce the distance to something like 0.5 and let's run the simulation again there we go so only until this point the influence is there looks good so far so now let's get back to the object mode and let's play the simulation there we go now let's select all of these plates and let's select shade auto smooth and under mesh visualization options let's switch on the pretty shading and let's take a look there you go now also let's hide the activators there you go so that's the simulation that we were looking for. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you and stay tuned for more tutorials.